Salutare, sunt Mihai Daniel, bun venit pe canalul Consultanță Cripto, bine v-am găsit pe cei abonați ai acestui canal, bun venit celor noi. Așa cum v-am promis în episodul de ieri, vom avea o discuție cu un proiect din zona de gaming NFT, o zonă care este într-un mare hype, într-o creștere exponențială de piață în clipa de față. Ei însăși, cei de la Ulti Arena, sunt un proiect care abia s-au listat pe data de 12 septembrie, și au o performanță destul de bună. În clipa asta valorează de cel puțin 5 ori valoarea inițială. Acest interviu va fi în limba engleză. Pe alocul vom avea și ceva întrebări în limba română la sfârșitul acestui podcast. Acum o să-i prezint pe cei ce reprezintă acest proiect, anume Duke, fiind CEO-ul companiei, și pe cei din echipa de social media și marketing, Radu și Vlad. So, Duke... Vlad and Radu, it is a pleasure for me to have you in my podcast for the Romanian audience. Thank you, Daniel. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Welcome. So, Duke, I will start with the first question. What is Ulti Arena? All right, so Ulti Arena is, first of all, the NFT marketplace for game assets. Um, uh, so we are building a marketplace where the game studios and the game artists, they can sell their concept arts, 3D, 2D arts, sound and music uh, on the marketplace. Um, the simple, you know, uh, use case is, for example, Nintendo or Sega, they could, you know, uh, list all the assets that they were made during the game development time. Uh, and instead of laying around and doing nothing and you know, not generating revenue, we will want to bring all those assets, millions of them from the game studios, from the game artists on our marketplace and sell them as NFTs. So that's the first product that we are building. The second is proof of gaming, which is meant to you know, connect the non-blockchain games, the mainstream gaming, with the crypto world. So up until now, you know, you know, Axie Infinity, you know, Mighty Fipad, a lot of other projects, they are blockchain based only games. And, you know, the gameplay is, you know, I would say so-so. Uh, what we want to do is, you know, allow the gamers from Dota 2, from CSGO, from PUBG and other mainstream games to be able to play, to be able to play and earn crypto, um, you know, while playing those games. So this is the second product that we are building. The third one is in cooperation with Frack Games and a German-based remote control productions. And we are making a trading card game based on crypto. So uh, all of the cards in the game will be NFTs and they will be tradable on our NFT marketplace. And aside from that, you know, um, uh, you will play the game as, you know, usual. And yeah, yeah so are the three products that we are building. That is very, very nice. But you know, uh, most of the people now are in the early stage. For example, there is people, they don't understand the concept of NFT. They don't understand how you can connect a game with NFT. Some people, they cannot even imagine that you can make money playing games in the blockchain and making real money. So yeah. this is, you know, in the global scale, the stage we are. Some countries are more advanced in the gaming space and in the NFT, but some countries are not. So uh, do you think this kind of product, it is easy to access for uh, people that don't have the knowledge? Um, I think so. I mean, uh, this is a very, very stage and we are a very, um, you know, growing industry, uh, you know, Uh, in crypto in general, it represents like 2% of the all financial assets in the world. It's just 2%. So there's a lot of room, room to grow. And number two is that, you know, gaming you know, um, is, is, is kind of, you know, centralized nowadays. So imagine that you play a game, let's say, you know, World of Warcraft, right? And then you earn that sword or that shield or like the armor. You know, you earn in the game, but at the end of the day, it belongs to Blizzard. It belongs to the company that have made the game, right? In the simple terms is that, you know, you own, but only imaginatively, right? It's in the imagination. With decentralized gaming, it means that, you know, all the items, the in-game items will be owned by you because number one is, it is recorded on the blockchain. So it's, it's public and number two, is that it can't be replicated. Once the item on the NFT 
non-fungible token is made, it's unique, it's immutable, it will never be you know, destroyed. So the item in the game that is an NFT, for example, in our trading card game, when you own a card, it's your card. It's not owned by us, people that make the game, but it's actually owned by you and it's being recorded on the blockchain. So in simple terms, you know, the in-game items as NFTs, they belong to you. And I think it's revolutionary. I mean, never before, you know, the in-game you know, digital assets could be recorded and owned by anyone. Now with the blockchain and decentralized gaming, those assets belong to you and you can do whatever with them, you know, as you want. That is amazing, amazing. Maybe in the future, maybe not so far in the future, we can do a podcast like a tutorial to explain feature by feature for people. Because as I said, in my opinion, this gaming NFT it is very, very early. Very, very early. Super early, yeah. And I think it is very important to educate the community, to make people to understand the difference because You know, there is a lot of people playing the traditional games. Me, for example, when I have time, I play FIFA. It is interesting to own, you know, the players in the game and you can resell and make actually money because now, as you said, the characters and everything belongs to the software development company, which you already paid for the game, but you don't own nothing. I mean, you can play only. So this is a, a game changing. As the, we speak before the, the starting of this podcast, I understand from the social media team that you are very, very fast. You got listed on CoinMarketCap in just one day. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. How long, yeah. Maybe Radu and Vlad, you can tell more about that. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, it was really surprising. Uh, we applied on CoinMarketCap yesterday. Uh, when you apply for example for coin market cap and coin Geek, you always have to provide the trading pair so we couldn't like apply before the listing so i think they listed us very fast because of the volume traded that was like around 10 million yesterday on the, in the first day yeah wow yeah that is amazing yeah. you know there are projects that they have like months of existence and they don't have 10 million volume yeah exactly. we actually actually we were the only ones that were uh, uh, introduced on coin market cap in that day so mm-hmm. after we was uh, we were on coin market cap they stopped they literally stopped we were yeah. they it's like they got up just to side put us there and done yeah and our holders numbers like doubled in like 24 hours For, from 8k holders we're now at like almost 18k so yeah are, going to 20 sorry, sorry, sorry. more interruption 18k let's say 18,000 for my followers to understand yeah, 18, yeah. exactly yeah so from 8,000 people holders now you have 18,000 in two in, days in yeah, yeah 24 hours 48 hours so that is a very huge perspective i mean the growth perspective it is very very big and yeah. I will ask uh, again, uh, Dukes, what are the short-term plans and what are the long-term plans? Sure. The six months plan is that, you know, we will launch our NFT marketplace, which uh, probably in the beta phase, we will launch at the end of the year. So that's the first product that we will present to the public. And uh, middle of October, we will probably go live with that NFT marketplace. We already have nearly 300 game artists who signed up early as sellers on our NFT marketplace. And that's number one thing that we would like to do. Number two is listing on centralized exchanges. I mean, actually the funny thing is that we haven't even applied for some of the uh, exchanges like LBank or like Hotbeat or like ZT um, Trading. And those exchanges, they listed us for free. I mean, essentially, you know, giving us free marketing. In just two days, three exchanges listed us. But the only two ones that we signed it were Coin Tiger and Bitmark. Coin Tiger, Coin Tiger will be on the 30 of September, and Bitmark will be on 15 of October. Uh, so you know, in terms of centralized exchanges listing, those are the two that we officially signed it, the contract. Uh, in terms of the proof of gaming, we are doing now. You know, the algorithm we will distribute and allow players to mine our altcoin. And we will probably um, launch in beta in December. 
uh, as for our Ultimate Buckle Arena, the trading card game, we'll launch the beta early next year with Frag Games and Remote Control Productions, our partners. What's more is that one of our investors is head of Polygon in China, Lucid Blue Ventures, and we will uh, also be a cross-chain uh, company or platform where we'll be uh, launching on Polygon. So that's the short tip. In terms of the long-term vision, no, as any company, as any project, our goal is to grow revenue as much as possible. Actually, 30% of our revenue will go to re uh, buyback and burn of our token. So in the long term, we would like to grow the number of sales on NFT marketplace. So sell as much NFTs as possible on Binance Smart Chain, our native uh, chain, and also on Polygon, where we will be like much closer to uh, Ethereum, let's say, community. Uh, one example is that OpenSea is already you know, integrated with uh, uh, Polygon. So we will, let's say, we will have access to an already existing uh, buyer base from the Ethereum community. So that's number one, to grow the sales uh, from the NFT marketplace as much as possible. Uh, I'm seeing you know, $1 million, $2 million in terms of NFT sales each month and, and maybe grow even more next year. Our second product, the proof of gaming, the business model is that when we allow people or the players to actually play and earn crypto, you know, we will extend the playtime, will you know, attract you know, more new players to, for those game studios. So I think that we are a great partner and great lead generation of player, new player generation for game studios. So we think that they should pay us for bringing them new customers. So the revenue share model with those game studios and of course, you know, grow the revenue uh, with as much as many games as possible. Number three is of course, growing revenue with our trading card game with Ultimate Battle Arena. You know, in order to access the game, you will have to buy the new decks. And what's even more interesting is that, is that we will make a new token that will be an in-game currency. That new token is gonna to be called Vendors of Baylor, BOV. And it will be, you know, the utility is that when you play the game, the trading card game, you will earn BOV. And that BOV will also be listed on changes. So that, those are the, yeah. Uh, I have a question regarding the tokenomics fundamental for the project. What it is your strategy? Yeah, so um, of course, you know, the, um, we, want, we want our token to have as many utilities as possible. So number one utility is that 30% of revenue will go to buy back and burn. So it will decrease the supply. And it will also mean that, you know, we, we have, will have a demand pressure for the price. Number two is uh, we have 6% tax for buy and sell on decentralized exchanges. 2% goes to burn, 2% goes to uh, liquidity pool, and 2% uh, uh, will go to all ulti holders. Number three is that in order to access proof of gaming, you will need ulti tokens. You will need to spend ulti tokens to, in order to access proof of gaming. Next thing is um, the ultimate battle arena. You will need ulti tokens to buy the new decks of cards. And lastly, the NFT marketplace will charge 6% from, from each transaction on the NFT marketplace. So all of these will put a demand pressure for our token. Uh, so uh, this is our strategy to bring up you know, the value of the token. In terms of tokenomics, we have 200 billion um, tokens of total supply. We have already burned around 50 billion of them. And the circulating supply as for now is one, around 1.7 1. Um, billion tokens on the market. Uh, so that represents you know, a, a, a little over 6%, 7% of the total supply. Of course, that will grow over time, but over time, we'll also add our products, which will increase the demand for our token. I understand. Thank you very much. And uh, if you have a message for the Romanian market, what would be that? Uh, join us early I and mean, you know in, in next year I don't know what the price is gonna be but with a lot of utilities for our token uh, it, it's not gonna okay but you know as I said before uh, my proposal it is that we should do a tutorial podcast that we teach people you know how to use the product 
what is every piece of the product, how to manage. Because, you know, if we focus only in the coin, I mean, we yeah. miss the, the point of the project. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The thing is that uh, the NFT marketplace beta will launch at the end of the month. So uh, at the end of the month, we will be able to show everyone uh, our first product, which will be the NFT marketplace. Proof of Gaming uh, will be launched somewhere at the end of the year or quarter one, 2022. Also, Ultimate Beta Arena is also programmed for quarter one, 2022. So we are still working on developing all the products. So uh, the people have to have patience and uh, just stick with us. And uh, we really need their support because everything is done step by step and, you know, and the Romanian, the Romanian users in the crypto space are pretty familiar already with uh, Ulti Arena. We have a lot of users uh, in our group so far that are Romanians. So we would really be uh, excited to see more, uh, more people from around us. Yeah. In this case, uh, we can do when the first product is ready, we do a tutorial. So. And then we wait for the next stage when all the products are ready and we talk about, but okay. I think it's better like this. We talk step by step, tutorial with tutorial, so people understand very well. Also, Duke, we forgot about something. We forgot about Ulti Finance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you, you maybe can tell about that. I mean. Uh, well, Ulti, Ulti Finance will be a staking uh, a program, will be like a platform where you will have different services. <laughs> like token locker, service locker, um, liquidity locker. Uh, you'll be able to stake our multi tokens. Also, uh, I don't know, Duke, if I forgot the something. The, yeah, exactly. We'll have different farms and we'll yeah. also announce some future partnerships. Uh, but everyone has to stay tuned and watch out for our Telegram channel. Don't forget yeah. to check out our websites, ultiarena.com as well. Yeah. But, yeah, I will put all support. the the links. I will put all the links in detail. The social media, the Twitter, the Telegram, everything. It will be in the description of the video. Yeah. Also, Ulti Finance uh, will launch on the twenty first of September. Uh, only the staking pool for Ulti tokens will be uh, will be the start of it, so that long term holders can stake their tokens and wait for the other products of Ulti Arena to launch. You know. Now, I think this is a good idea because, you know, a lot of people, they believe in the project and I think they will use the staking. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a good day, way of passive income. Usually all of our users are searching for uh, the idea of a long-term investment and uh, searching for ways to have a um, passive income. And I think that uh, all of our products are offering that. And the first one that will start offering is staking behind the, the reflections that they are already earning. I mean, uh, when you go in the chat, you see everyone is saying like the reflections are so nice. I already yeah. have like uh, five BNBs in reflections because the volume is so high and everybody, everybody is uh, trading right now. So uh, yeah, everyone is happy for the passive income that Ulti Arena already generates. And uh, think about... Uh, how uh, how good of idea is uh, to wait and uh, invest in uh, having the passive income with all of our products you know this is all very important we are just starting and passive yeah. income already is uh, uh, visible and uh, this is amazing yeah the, the token is essential in the whole ecosystem of Ulti arena We'll have the uh, the NFT marketplace, the the play to earn game Ultimate Battle Arena. We'll also have proof of gaming. We'll also have Ulti Finance, and all that all that utility will go straight into the token, into the Ulti coin. You know? So that in the future will also be reflected in the price, and that's why everyone is jumping on so early so far. Everyone. Yeah, is and also let's think. Let's speak about on uh, gamers language. Guys, remember the moments when your account got uh, banned and you lost uh, and the sword is done. You can't access that. You worked so hard to get that sword and for that armor or, th or that item. <laughs> and uh, since you don't, you don't have that item, you don't see it anymore. After you're banned, you're done. And think yeah. that with uh, uh, blockchain gaming, after your account gets banned, you can easily take that uh, NFT 
that armor and uh, take it in the new account and you haven't lost your efforts and your time and everything that you have done to acquire that item. So this is amazing for us gamers. Yes. Um, I'm sure that the gamers understand all these details yeah. that are very important. And one more yeah. that I want to add, for example, let's look at Tax Infinity. With their play to earn game, they, um, they develop like a lot of jobs for a lot of people from uh, Asian, especially from uh, Asian part of the world, you know? So basically like people are getting like hires to play the game. And I think uh, Ulti Arena will be in that case as well. I think uh, we will reach at a certain point that people who will uh, just play the game for a living, you know? Especially yeah. the ones in uh, more like underdeveloped uh, uh, countries, so to say. Because it will be, uh, you know, far better to play our game than working for some, for like nothing, you know? That's what I, I think. Yeah, we are having a good time and we yeah. are playing. So. We're having a good time, you're playing a game, you're earning much more money than the government allows you in the other countries. <laughs> you are uh, on the internet, crypto is like transparent, you're taking part of the revolution. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, think of Venezuela where the hyperinflation is there, right? And the money loses value all the time because they are printing and printing the money with, you know, with Alti tokens, for example, with Alti coin, the supply is limited. I mean, there's as much as we, we there's are on the market. So, uh, you know, um, uh, the number one thing is that it won't be, lose value over time uh, and we won't be able to print anymore. And number two is that you know, uh, I, I think, you know, it's a great possibility for, you know, those, um, uh, you know, um, uh, countries like Venezuela or like uh, Philippines or Indonesia, where you have a lot, a lot of people that are without jobs. Now, you know, with just only an internet connection with some, you know, uh, some basic PC, you can start, you know, do, um, getting uh, the money and, you know, feed your family. And that's what Axie Infinity has, has begun, uh, but we, we will also do that. But, you know, I think there is a whole uh, very large spectrum of people that will need to understand and they will switch because, for example, in Romania, the salaries are not so high. Maybe we are, I don't know, in 700, 800, 600 level, but with the crypto, with the NFTs, with the gamings, People can do from houses, you know, without going out, without, you know, contract, without bosses. They can do more than that. Yeah. And also, they don't need to go four years to the college, four years to the university. They don't need a diploma. They don't need a CV. They don't need somebody to interview them and to get the job. Yeah. So there is a huge perspective that people need to understand. But... I will also take care during time, you know, to make people in Romanian language to understand uh, the how this is working because it is a process. People need time to to understand. Yeah, exactly. Yes, in Romania, crypto is uh, something that's no, not very much people know about, you know. And uh, especially if we tell them that they can earn money by playing games, <laughs> they will go nuts, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah, once they will understand that in the real sense, you know, they will go crazy. Because now they don't understand. They know only about the hype of Bitcoin and things. Market go up, market go down, bull market, bear market. They don't see that a big, huge industry is growing and a, a way of passive income is growing. Yeah. But, you know, we will do in other podcast we will add more in the information if there is anything that you want guys to add at the end of this podcast yeah uh, so... go on go on duke no 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 i was starting to speak in romanian so go on. yeah 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 okay so after me uh so uh, uh we encourage you to study our website study our white paper you know join our telegram talk with us you now get to know our our community get to know the project uh, and yeah, I, I hope that you will believe in us. Yeah, I think they will. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Mulțumesc, uh, Daniel, pentru, că, pentru acest yeah. podcast. Uh, vă invităm pe toți să intrați pe uh, linkurile pe care Daniel o să vi le ofere. 
ce, 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 faceți, inspectați proiectul, învățați despre el și vă așteptăm pe grupul nostru de Telegram, unde se întâmplă foarte multe lucruri, e foarte interesant și comunitatea e super unită. Toată lumea ajută pe toată lumea și da, veniți, îmi puneți întrebări, veniți și întrebați-ne, ne găsiți acolo în voice chat, în chat, orice întrebare aveți, suntem acolo, citiți despre proiect și sigur nu o să fiți dezamăgiți, pentru că este ceva cu totul nou și cred că e timpul ca spațiul cripto din România și de peste tot să înceapă să vadă cât mai multe uh, lucruri noi care intră în uh, cripto. Și noi suntem unul din, unul din lucrurile alea. So, așa că vă așteptăm. Guys, mi-a părut bine să vă am ca invitați. It was a pleasure to have you here, Duke. La Thank fel you. și pentru voi, Vlad și Radu. Sper să ne revedem curând cu noutăți și cu acel tutorial despre care vorbeam. Uh, I wish you all good luck with the project. Thanks. Hope to see you again very soon with good news for the people and the followers of your project and hopefully we will get more people from the Romanian market and until the next time all the best thank you very much all the best thank you thank you it's the army guys yeah alte arena join us yeah. <laughs>